ingredients to get to know God. Ingredients to get to know God. Turn up for God. Turn up for God. Turn up for God. Hello and welcome to Lead and Barley. This is a place where we get the ingredients to get to know God. I am Maxine. Welcome to this platform. I am here today, praise God, to bring a word from the Lord. If you are new to the channel, welcome, praise God. And welcome to those of you who are returning. The Lord has a word today. It is for all of us, praise God, because all of us have gone through this where we are moving through the things of God. We are standing on the promises and then all of a sudden there's confusion. Then all of a sudden, hallelujah, there's the enemy trying to dismantle praise god there's the enemy throwing ideas in our minds praise god hallelujah just kind of like waving them back and forth and then there we go entertaining those ideas entertaining those notions entertaining the confusion knowing that god's word will not fall to the ground knowing that what god said will come to pass praise god we've all been through this in the mighty name of jesus but the lord wants to bring it to the forefront today because there are so many people who are still confused there are so many people still going back and forth they're being blown by the wind hallelujah and the lord wants you to know today that his word stands that his word is solid hallelujah jesus christ is the chief cornerstone a cornerstone y'all stone hallelujah rock hallelujah in the mighty name of jesus and because we are made in his image praise god we are also stones and we are here to build Praise God. We are here to build. Praise God. Hallelujah. If you didn't know why you were on this earth, if you didn't know, praise God, why God made you, why he brought you here. Hallelujah. Understand that there is a purpose for your life. Understand that you are a builder point blank period. You are a builder. Hallelujah. The Lord has put it in your belly to build. The Lord has put it in your belly to produce. The Lord has put it in your belly to be creative. Praise God. This is what the Lord is calling you to do. The Lord is calling you to be a disciple. The Lord is calling you to be a witness of Jesus Christ. Praise God. Hallelujah. This is what you're called to do. This is your purpose. Hallelujah. However he bring it forth through you. However it is designed through you. Praise God. It is your purpose. Praise God. And the Lord wants us to know today that he's dealing with mindsets hallelujah he's dealing with mindsets today's uh, message is subduing evil thoughts yes subduing evil thoughts praise god to subdue means to take control to subdue hallelujah means to defeat praise god hallelujah the lord says to subdue evil thoughts we have no more time no more room to entertain the devil let me say that again. We have no more time, no more room to entertain the devil. I know many of you are going back and forth in a confused state because the Lord is letting me know today, hallelujah, that many of his people are confused. Many people who are close to the body of Christ, meaning they are on the fence, they're lukewarm, and we know what God does with lukewarm. He spit it out his mouth, praise God. But even those, they are confused. They don't really know God. They don't really know if they want to cross over into the body of Christ. You know, it's just a lot of confusion hitting the land these days. And this is this confusion is meant to bring people, to take people into further deception. Understand what I'm saying? It's meant to take you into further deception. What the Lord unveiled to me about this confusion is when the enemy comes in to confuse you, to halt you in a place, praise God, that's the place that the enemy wants to take captive of you. The enemy wants to keep you there because when God comes in with the promise and you stand on the promise, you're going to be elevated from that place. When you believe him, no matter what, praise God, no matter what you see for what you see is temporal. Hallelujah. You're going to be elevated from that place. And so the enemy comes in to try to knock you off your feet, to knock you off that, that, that strong, solid rock, praise God. Hallelujah. And even a mental solid rock of Jesus Christ, because we're supposed to keep our mind on Jesus. Hallelujah. So he wants to knock you off that solid rock so that that he can take captive of you in the land you're in and keep you there if not to bring you further down do you understand hallelujah because you're already standing on the platform you're already standing on particular land praise god but you know and i know hallelujah that you know there's more for you you know and i know praise god that god is bringing you into greater that he's elevating you in this season hallelujah but the enemy wants you to believe that you cannot go any further because of what surrounds you because of what your bank account says praise god because of the 
job you're working at right now in the mighty name of Jesus. But again, everything you see is temporal. God can shift things. In, I'm telling you in a minute. He can shift things tomorrow. He can shift things a week from now. Praise God. Hallelujah. Stop coming into gr agreement with the enemy. Praise God. Because what God says will come to pass. Hallelujah. And the Lord says to subdue these evil thoughts. And this is what the Lord was sharing with me about this. Praise God. And of, of course, I took notes. Hallelujah. Because I did not want to miss anything that the Holy Spirit was saying. I'm going to be honest, y'all. Hallelujah. It was much. I did not want to miss anything that the Holy Spirit was saying. So I wrote it down and I am going to read scripture to you. Praise God. Hallelujah. So the Lord was sharing that many during this time, they are in a state of confusion. They don't know which way to go. They don't know. They're, they're, they don't really understand what is happening. They don't know if a person truly wants to be with them or not. You know, everything is just in, the, in between. Not really sure. A maybe. A possibility. Praise God. It's just no solid decisions being made in this area of confusion. Hallelujah. And even when you speak, many of you are speaking and you're communicating with others. But when they receive what you're saying, it seems like it's gibberish. Like you're speaking another language, praise God. And you're being very clear about what you're saying. But the Lord wants you to know that this is the enemy coming in to interfere. This is interference by the enemy to make the people believe that what you are saying, hallelujah, is not what you're really saying. So you may say, tell somebody that you love them, praise God. And they start to analyze it, hallelujah, say, I don't really know if that person really loved me, praise God, hallelujah. So they didn't really hear that you love them. What they're hearing now, hallelujah, is that you don't really love them, praise God. And that's how the enemy comes in to interfere with the atmosphere hallelujah the lord shared that many people are under manipulation under manipulation praise god we know that man likes to manipulate man hallelujah we understand this but guess what hallelujah this is the work of the enemy this is the work of the enemy. Manipulation is the work of the enemy, praise God. Hallelujah. Don't be manipulated in this season. The Lord says that many people are being gaslit. Yes, gaslit. Hallelujah. That means that a person is taking what has happened, what they should take as accountability, praise God, and they are blaming others. <clears throat> Yes, they're blaming others, praise God. So they're not taking accountability for their own actions. <clears throat> Excuse me. Hallelujah. The Lord is speaking to us today. The Lord shared, hallelujah, that many are in deep deception, delusion. He said, deep deception, delusion, praise God. And when he referenced this to me, that I saw relationships where people are in relationships they should not be in, where they are being strung along, praise God. One minute the person loves you and the next minute they don't know if they want to be with you. One minute the person is taking you out, whining and dining you, praise God, hallelujah. And the next, next minute they're treating you like trash. One minute, praise God, hallelujah, they're telling you you're beautiful. The next minute, hallelujah, they're taking you down with evil, unthoughtful words, praise God. This is what the Lord is letting us know today. <clears throat> Excuse me. And the Lord is sharing, praise God, deep delusion. Deep delusion, praise God. Hallelujah. Some people are just seeing what they want to see. That's delusion because God has a way for us and it is the true way, praise God. But sometimes people want to do what they want to do and they want to see what they want to see. And the Lord is letting us know today that many people are under deep delusion because they want to see what they want to see. They never put down their flesh, praise God. They picked it up and they carried it along. Hallelujah. And I'm telling you, some people, they think that it's okay that they can pick up the cross and they can drag their flesh along, praise God. Hallelujah. But you got to choose one or the other. Either you're going to pick up your cross praise God and put down your flesh hallelujah or are you going to pick up your flesh hallelujah and put down that cross hallelujah but do not be deceitful to the people praise God do not get in the pulpit hallelujah and you want to carry both praise God because there's no such thing either you're carrying one or the other hallelujah because I'm telling you right now you can't choose God and, and Satan at the same time praise God understand what I'm saying you can't choose God and you hallelujah at the same time because some of you are just choosing you some of you are just raising yourself up hallelujah and some of you who are not and you are really walking with God you know people like this you know people hallelujah who's all in the flesh praise God but then the next minute when they want things to go their way they're all in scripture praise God hallelujah the Lord says it's time out in the mighty name of Jesus hallelujah do not let the enemy fool you into this mindset praise God because it is not righteous I'm gonna tell you right now hallelujah the Lord is letting you know it is not righteous Pick up your cross, put down that flesh, praise God. Hallelujah. He says, some are in deep deception, deep delusion. Hallelujah. The Lord shared, praise God, many people are 
into perverse thinking. Perverse thinking. Hallelujah. This is not righteous, y'all. Hallelujah. This is a cricket path. Praise God. For all of the examples that I'm giving you right now, they are on the cricket path. You understand? Jesus Christ, he is the one who is who has the straight path. He is the one who makes the crooked path straight. Hallelujah. But his path, Jesus Christ's path, is a narrow path. Praise God. And the Lord said many people are having perverse thoughts. What does this mean? Praise God. Hallelujah. They're in deep perversion. Do you understand? Hallelujah. There's nothing clean. It's a lot of unclean thinking. Hallelujah. I don't have to go into details with this. You know what I'm talking about. Praise God. It's nothing clean about it. It's an unclean thing. Hallelujah. So you want to know where it's coming from. It's an unclean spirit. Let me say that again. It's an unclean spirit. Hallelujah. Just hanging out with the person. And because they keep coming into agreement with the unclean spirit, the unclean spirit is having its way with the mind. Praise God. Having its way with the picture show. Having its way with the thoughts. Do you understand? Hallelujah. Just bringing them up like a projection. Hallelujah. The Lord is letting you know today. Praise God. Hallelujah. Stop coming into agreement with the enemy. You are to subdue evil thoughts. Hallelujah. The Lord also shared, praise God, that there are many in disorder. Hallelujah. This is a disorder in household, disorder in relationships, praise God. Hallelujah. Disorder at the job, disorder in business, disorder in self. Hallelujah. The Lord is letting you know, disorder, praise God, with your children. Hallelujah. Disorder with siblings, praise God. The Lord is letting you know today that there are many people who are under this thing called disorder, praise God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And think about this. If God is a God of order, but you see a lot of this order, whether there are things unorganized in your house, praise God. Hallelujah. That's just a symptom, y'all. Praise God. That's a symptom to let you know what's going on on the inside because we shall examine ourselves, right? Hallelujah. Forget about examining everybody else. We can do that real good. We do that easily. Hallelujah. We're probably excellent in that area, praise God. Hallelujah. But the toughest thing is to examine ourselves to see what needs to be cleaned up in us, praise God. The toughest thing, hallelujah, is to make changes, hallelujah, to start walking out what God wants wants us to walk out in the mighty name of Jesus and be what God has called us to be. Hallelujah. So that we can be in order to his steps, in order to his alignment. Praise God. That's what we want. We want the good things. We want the blessings. Praise God. But if you are in disorder and God gives you a blessing, hallelujah, I'm telling you, all you're going to do is take that blessing into a place of disorder and you're not going to be a good steward over the blessing that God gives you. Hallelujah. You need to be on that, that straight path. Praise God. That path that is going to lead lead you into everlasting life. That narrow path of Jesus Christ. Go on. Walk through that door. Praise God. Go on. Walk over that threshold. Hallelujah. Cross it in the mighty name of Jesus. Uh, do it in joy. Do it in uh, happiness. Praise God. Do it in praise. Praise Jesus. Do it in praise. Hallelujah. The Lord share, praise God, that all of these examples that I just shared with you, praise God, they are cricket. Let me say that again. They are crooked. Hallelujah. Confusion, manipulating, gaslighting, praise God. Perverse uh, thinking, disorder, deep deception, crooked. Hallelujah. And the Lord shared, do not forget pride. Many people are walking around boasting about themselves and what they accomplished. Hallelujah. Boasting about what they did, the revenge they got on another person. Boasting, just boasting. I mean, they, they show themselves, uh, 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 recording themselves, boasting about all of the corruption, all of the evil. Hallelujah. All of the get back that they've done. Praise God. Hallelujah. But the Lord is letting them know today, hallelujah, that this is crooked. That it is crooked in the body of Christ. Hallelujah. It is crooked to Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Do you understand? Praise God. So if you are claiming to be a Christian, but you are doing these things, you are adhering to the evil thinking, praise God. Hallelujah. There needs some be some there needs to be some cleaning, praise God. The blood of Jesus washes us clean. There needs to be some cleaning. So what do you do to clean yourself? Praise God. Hallelujah. You repent. You repent. And then you recognize that you're not cleaning yourself, but it's the blood of Jesus that cl that's cleaning you. Hallelujah. You move right on out of that pride. You move right on out of that boasting. Hallelujah. Where you think you're doing things yourself. Praise God. And then you understand that you're yielding to Christ. You're yielding to the Holy Spirit and you belong to Christ. So therefore the Holy Spirit will do the work in you. It's not you. 
So then you give all glory, honor, and praises to Christ. You give all glory and honor to God Almighty. Hallelujah. You give it to Jesus. Do you understand? Praise God. He is the one who is uh, who is salvation. He is the one who died for your sins. Praise God. He deserves all the praises, honor, and glory. Praise God. Hallelujah. You want to give honor to God. You want to give honor to the Holy Spirit. Praise God. You want to give honor to Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. Hallelujah. The Lord says, subdue evil thoughts, bring the evil thoughts into captivity. Hallelujah. Bring the evil thoughts into captivity. Praise God. Let's go to 2 Corinthians. 2 Corinthians, we're going to chapter 10, verse 5. Chapter 10, verse 5. Hallelujah. And let me go ahead and read this to you. It reads, we are destroying speculations in every lofty thing raised up against the knowledge of God. Hallelujah. Destroying speculation in every lofty thing, every elevated thing, natural thing, praise God. Hallelujah. That is raised up against the knowledge of God and we are taking every thought captive to the obedience of Christ. This is what the Lord is telling you. Take every thought captive. Hallelujah. Take it captive. Subdue the evil thoughts. Pray God. Praise God. Hallelujah. Bring them into obedience. Hallelujah. Well, you may ask, well, how do I do that? I have uh, uh, confusion. Uh, uh, meet me at the doorstep every day. I have confusion before I go to bed at night. Praise God. Hallelujah. I do well all day, but then right before I lay down, praise God. Hallelujah. I'm all confused. Right before I lay down, I'm weary. Like, right before I lay down, praise God. Hallelujah. I have man manipulative thoughts. Right before I lay down, hallelujah, I have seen perversion all in my mind praise god hallelujah all of these sexual lacks coming about praise god hallelujah understand those are evil spirits and as soon as they come about as soon as they come about what you know that that is anti-christ anti-christ ways of being anti-christ period hallelujah you go against it because it's anti-christ when you bring things into obedience of Christ, praise God, what you do is reject it. What you do is rebuke it. What you do is tell it, praise God, hallelujah, that you are under the order you are subject to Jesus Christ that you are a child of God. You are a part of the body of Christ, hallelujah, that you belong to the one and only living God. That you're reconciled back to the Father. See, this is your identity. You have to let it know, praise God. Hallelujah. That your, your Father is righteous. Jesus is righteous. The Holy Spirit is righteous. Hallelujah. You are in the family of God. And that you have citizenship in heaven, praise God. All the promises God has made to you, they will come to pass. That you reject the enemy so he has to flee, so flee. In the mighty name of Jesus, hallelujah. And you stand on the solid rock of Jesus Christ knowing that he is good to you, that he will never leave you, praise God, hallelujah. And anyone that tries to come up against you, hallelujah, any demon in the mighty name of Jesus will have to deal with Jesus Christ himself, praise God, who has already paid the price for it all. So they want to come back and mess with him again, praise God, hallelujah. They better sit down somewhere in the mighty name of Jesus because all power and authority lies in his hand, praise God, hallelujah. And when you belong to him, praise God, you have the ultimate protection in Jesus' mighty name. Believe it and receive it. I'm telling you right now, subdue those evil thoughts. Bring them into the order of obedience and unto Christ, praise God. Decree and declare who you are, hallelujah. Expose your identity. Let them know who you are in the mighty name of Jesus and stand on it in Jesus' mighty name as you reject the enemy and the enemy will flee in Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. Let's go ahead and pray. Thank you, Lord God, for this day. Thank you, oh Lord God, for this message. Thank you, Lord God, hallelujah, for giving us exactly what we need, oh Father God. For you said what we bind on earth shall be bound in heaven. Hallelujah. But first we have to bind it on earth. First we have to speak it, oh Lord God. First we have to stand on the word and bind it on earth, oh Lord God. Hallelujah. For it will be bound in heaven. That means you back us up, oh Lord. That means, hallelujah, you come with it. That means, hallelujah, that the angels are just waiting on us to just bind hallelujah so they can just go ahead and take it on down in the mighty name of jesus hallelujah so that they can let it know praise god this one right here hallelujah get your hands off in the mighty name of jesus for you said oh lord that the battle belongs to god 
that the, the battle is yours, oh Father God, that vengeance is yours, oh Lord God. So we give everything back to you, oh Father God. We give it back to you because we know, hallelujah, that you are the battler, hallelujah. You are the warrior, praise God. You are the one, hallelujah, that knows all things, that created all things, praise God, hallelujah. And you knows what best for us, hallelujah. And we thank you, oh Lord God, for knowing what's best for us. We love you, oh Lord God. We trust you in your decision making. And we thank you for breaking the chains of confusion off us. We thank you for breaking the chains, hallelujah, of, of, of perversion off of us. We thank you for breaking the chains, oh Lord God, hallelujah, of deep delusion off of us. We thank you for breaking the cha chains of pride, oh Lord God. We thank you for breaking the chains, hallelujah, of manipulation, oh Lord God, hallelujah. Only your powerful hand can do it, Jesus, hallelujah. And we thank you, Lord God. Wash us clean with your blood, oh Lord. Wash us clean with your blood, hallelujah, for your blood saves, hallelujah, for your death saved, hallelujah. It saved us, hallelujah, and gives us life more abundantly when we choose you, Jesus Christ. We love you and we honor you and we thank you forevermore, hallelujah. We give you all glory, honor, and praises. We love you, oh Lord God, hallelujah. You are the one, hallelujah, the chief cornerstone. You are the building block, hallelujah, to everything we have. You are our only answer and you're the only answer we need. In Jesus Christ's name, we pray, hallelujah. We we thank you, oh Lord God, for all you're doing. We thank you for giving us a clear mind, oh Lord God. Hallelujah. Bringing clarity back to us, oh Father God, to peel in those scales off our eyes, Lord God, so that we can see clearly in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord God, we decree and, de and declare clarity in our atmospheres. We decree and declare, hallelujah, no matter where we go, hallelujah, the cloud will hover over us, oh Lord God. You, in the mighty name of Jesus, your presence will forever be with us, oh Lord God. Hallelujah. That any enemy that tries to come against, oh Lord God, it will flee automatically because of your presence and your light oh lord god that shines through us oh father god that's always with us in jesus mighty name we love you oh lord god we thank you for all that you do and we know that your word will not fall to the ground in jesus mighty name hallelujah and we bind every single enemy that tries to come up against us oh lord god in retaliation in jesus mighty name hallelujah and it is bound in heaven and right now lord god we loose every single thing that the enemy tried to hold up on our end lord god try to keep us away from oh lord god try to delay our finances Finances, try to delay our progression, try to delay our relationships, try to delay, hallelujah, businesses, try to delay, hallelujah, every single thing that you're going to bring into fruition, oh Lord God, hallelujah. We ask right now that it will come to fruition without delay, that every single counterfeit on our path, Lord God, that the counterfeit will detour in the mighty name of Jesus and will not come into our path, oh Lord God. We will not encounter that counterfeit at all in Jesus' mighty name. We love you and we honor you in Jesus' name we pray. Keep us safe oh father god have the angels who encamp around us oh lord god in the mighty name of jesus show us the pathway in which to go oh lord god now that the confusion is gone now that the confusion hallelujah have have fleed the premise oh lord god hallelujah fill us up with your spirit oh lord god fill us up with all of those gifts and those blessings oh lord god fill us up hallelujah with those things that were missing from before oh lord god all of those empty and barren places oh lord god fill us up with your spirit fill us up hallelujah with your ever flowing water oh lord god fill us us up hallelujah with your oil fill us up in those places oh lord god so the enemy will have no room to come back hallelujah because the bible teaches us when the enemy flees praise god hallelujah he will come back and check the house hallelujah and he will see that the house is swept praise god but he will come back with seven more in the mighty name of jesus hallelujah after being restless in the desert land praise god hallelujah but our place will be filled our place will have no room for the enemy our place hallelujah will be saturated with god will be saturated with jesus christ hallelujah which is the word in the mighty name of jesus hallelujah we love you for it oh lord god in jesus mighty name we pray amen hallelujah i am sweating out here praise god hallelujah but i'm telling you right now that god is moving in our lives he is doing a great thing praise god hallelujah no matter where you are understand that god has you on his mind and that confusion hallelujah that state of mind is not of god understand this it is not of god he wants you on solid foundation he wants you in a place where you can hear him he wants you in a place where he can instruct you when you yield to him and you do what he asks you to do an obedient place praise god for obedience is better than sacrifice praise God hallelujah he wants you in this place because he has greatness for you he has good plans for you hallelujah he has not forgotten about you praise God and he knows what is lurking in your atmosphere and he said tonight hallelujah get on here and talk about this confusion get on here and talk about these evil thoughts praise God hallelujah because my people need to subdue these evil thoughts hallelujah and bring them into captivity praise God into obedience unto Jesus Christ I pray that you believe it and receive it in Jesus 
Jesus' mighty name. And I pray that you do it in Jesus' name. I love you with the love of Christ. Peace and blessings. Until next Turn time. Love y'all. Bye. Turn up for God. Eight. Turn up for God. Ingredients. To get to know God. Ingredients. To get to know God. Ingredients.